at the Fair Play Award. Evan Dumas is going up. Perhaps uh, a little surprising as he had the most fouls in the tournament. And Evan Dumas keep walking, which is an art. Well done to Indonesia <laughs> for winning the uh, Fair Play Award. When, when you're the runner-up and you get the Fair Play Award, it's, uh, it's always hard, isn't it? And he's uh, been presented the trophy there by Mr. Lim Kia Tong, the AFF Vice President, also President of the Football Association of Singapore and uh, Chairman of the Local Organising Committee. And, uh... Many, many years to come. when you're a runner-up for so Indonesia led there by Eddie Molada it's interesting he's leading the players up Indonesia who have fought so hard and have missed out once again on getting a winner's medal that is never easy runners-up as you can see there Straight runners up for three editions between 2000 and 2004, then 2010, 2016, and again the 2020 edition. Tough one to take, tough one to take uh, as a nation. Six finals, six times silver medalist. But I, as I said, I think the difference is you've got a very young side, very young squad here that has the potential to grow. I, I just hope we're not a couple of years down the line wondering again why Indonesia haven't been able to take that next yeah. step but in terms of this campaign if we're just looking at this and you look at the campaign that they put in the effort that they put in this team I think they've made people back home very proud I think Indonesians can be really proud of this team this young team with plenty of potential uh, and quality and again the challenge is just taking the next step will they be given those opportunities to do that yeah, there were some limitations ahead of this tournament, during the tournament as well, as we saw today. But they have certainly won a lot of fans as well with their brand of football. Madeo, who was not even scheduled to start for his country, a couple of twists and turns helped him become quite the hero for Indonesia and particularly savouring that penalty. There is so much potential in this side. They are one of the youngest squads in the AFF Suzuki Cup. Shin Taeyong has to stay in the job. I think that's clear. Continuity is absolutely key in these sort of circumstances. And he's been a real breath of fresh air as well in those press conferences, hasn't he? He has. I think it's been very good amongst the, the coaches and uh, with the press conferences, what they've said. It's been, it's been fascinating to watch that little battle between the coaches in those situations, you know. Things they say about each other. He tried to get under one of all things skin a little bit. Just listen to that, Roshan. As we just hear the, the crowd roar, they like him. They really like him. And Dato Sri Francisco Kalpawadi Lay, the AFF Vice President and Chairman of the AFF Competitions Committee, giving out all those medals. And now the mock check of 100,000 US dollars for the runners up Indonesia. Yeah, uh, they should be happy with him. The work that he's done, Shin Tae Yong, to take Indonesia into the final of this competition. You know, again, remember in the previews and the build-up to this, not too many people could have expected Indonesia.